Do you sometimes feel spiritually weak? I'm sure you have. We all have. And it usually happens when you're facing a big challenge that overwhelms and frightens you. Now, when everything's going according to plan, you probably feel spiritually strong and that you can handle any obstacle. But when that obstacle appears, we often wilt. And feeling spiritually weak is an awful feeling because you feel so vulnerable and defenseless. And of course, Satan loves that because when you're feeling spiritually weak, you are more vulnerable to the lies that he wants to plant in your mind. Lies like you are a failure and that God is so disappointed with you and that he's abandoned you and you should be ashamed of yourself. And he just loves to pounce on you in that time of vulnerability. But the good news is you don't have to stay spiritually weak and you don't have to put up with his attack on your mind. Because here's what to do the next time you feel spiritually weak. One, recognize that you can't handle this on your own. You need supernatural help. And second, recognize or turn to Jesus who is always standing next to you and invite him into the situation. Ask him for his perspective as to what's going on. Listen to his voice of encouragement as you hear how he sees the situation because his voice will strengthen your spirit. And he loves to be involved. He loves to see your faith. He loves to be invited into your life situations. So be sure to talk to him about what you're experiencing and feel his words and his strengthening. And remember, you're not the only believer who's ever struggled with spiritual weakness. I mean, Hebrews chapter 11 is a, is a discussion of the greatest heroes of faith in Bible history, and they had weaknesses. And the Bible says that their weaknesses were turned into strengths. Even Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 admitted his weaknesses and that God's power was made perfect in his weaknesses. So you're not alone. So don't beat yourself up because there are times when you feel spiritually weak. Just remember to invite Jesus into those times of weakness, weaknesses because the more dependent you are on him, the stronger you become. Now to live a transformed life, you need to remember and learn how to invite Jesus into your times of spiritual weakness. Now I want to hear from you. How have you actually done this? How have you, how have you strengthened your spirit at times of weakness? Just leave your testimonies and your comments in the box below because we want to hear what happened to you. And if this is your first visit here, you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form and you know where it is. It's always right there. And I'll talk to you again next week. But this week, if you're feeling spiritually weak, invite Jesus and listen to his voice.